Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to detect adblock and whether a user is using adblock uh, on your web 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 page. Well, now we're going to be doing this using uh, JavaScript, and we'll use the jQuery library just because it's going to be a lot quicker to access elements and and things like that. Okay, so what do we need to do first? Well, um, I'm going to first of all demonstrate implementing a Google AdSense advert onto a page, showing it, enabling Adblock, which I have down here at the moment disabled. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and enable Adblock and watch the advert disappear. Then we're going to do a little bit of investigation. Then we'll go ahead and write the code. And there's not a lot of code to write at all. So what have I got here to start with? Well, I've got a basic document outline, a title, which is irrelevant here, um, a container here with a class of advert. Now, the container that you wrap the advert in is extremely important. If you're just pasting AdSense um, code onto your page without containing it, this method's not going to work because we're going to be doing a bit of detective work with this uh, the element that's surrounding it. So in this case, it's a div. I've given it the class of advert um, in case we need to style it. We can't give this a height. That's really important as well. But I'll address this all in a moment when we when we actually look at this. You can see I've included um, the jQuery JavaScript library. And I also have a global JavaScript file as well, which at the moment has nothing in. We're going to be writing the code in here to actually detect um, whether Adblock has blocked any adverts or not. Okay, so probably the first thing we should go ahead and do is paste some um, AdSense code in here, uh, which I will have blurred out because I'm not sure about the terms of use for AdSense, so uh, this will just protect uh, my information. Um, so let's go ahead and save this and run this here as well, uh, run this into our browser. So you can see that an advert's appeared. Again, this will be blurred out, just I'm not sure about the terms of use. But let's go ahead and enable Adblock. So I'm going to click on this here, and you can't see the menu that's appeared, but I'm going to go ahead and uncheck Disabled. Refresh. Adblock's enabled. You can see this is red, and the advert has disappeared. So what we need to do is do a bit of investigation why this has happened and how we can uh, detect this. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect the page, uh, go over to Body and pull up HTML and Styles. Now here, nothing's been hidden. Um, if if things are hidden, um, then these will sort of sort of be greyed out in 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 this inspector here. Um, but what's actually happened is it's prevented the JavaScript files from you know properly loading anything in. Usually this would most likely be an iframe in here if it's an external advert. So what do we do? Well, our div uh, that surrounds our advert has a height of zero now at the moment. Now what happens if we enable ad blocks? I'm going to go up. Uh, sorry, disable ad block. The advert appears. Let's go ahead and inspect the page again, and let's take a look at this advert here now. Now this advert, you can see the the white area on the page at the moment with the little div dot advert um, thing coming down from it. You can see it now has a greater height. Before it didn't have a height because the advert had disappeared, um, adblock was blocking the advert, the div surrounding it was, you know, zero in height, there was nothing in there. So we can actually use this to detect if adblock has removed any of our adverts. So that brings me back to the point of the class, or, uh, sorry, the element that surrounds your advert. You first of all need an element surrounding your advert. Second of all, you cannot give it a specific height. If you give it a specific height, the height will always be that. The point here is that when the advert disappears, the element collapses to uh, a height of zero. So that's important. So now that we've done this, let's go ahead and start to write some code. So I'm going to return to my browser and I'm going to, oh, actually, no, I'll keep adblock uh, disabled for now. So inside of global.js, we're going to write some uh, some code, some JavaScript uh, jQuery library code, and we're going to alert out the height of this element. So let's go ahead and just uh, we'll just sort of makeshift do this for now, and then we'll do a condition in just a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and create a selector, 
and I'm going to select, in fact, I should probably do this on one line. I'm going to use a global variable, ignore that for now. Um, so var, let's just say height is equal to. And um, what do we want to select? Well, we want to select dot adverts. Now, you can obviously make this more specific. You might have different size adverts, so you need to bear that in mind as well. So, selecting advert height, so using the height method, I'm going to go ahead and alert height. So we can now have a look at what this brings up. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh. We've got 285, which you know sounds about right. This is a, an advert with a height of 280. So the extra five pixels we can just assume comes from Google or something like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and uncheck disabled. So I've enabled. And now when I refresh, we get zero. So now it really makes sense to say that if the height of this element is zero, there's no advert there. And therefore, it should. Um, well, the advert should have displayed, therefore the height should be, well, shouldn't be zero. So now we can go ahead and write our if statement. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to say if surround this here, and then create my block. So if the height is equal to zero, we have detected ad block. Simple, simple as that. So alert you just escape that running ad block right so obviously i don't recommend annoying your users if they had if they have ad block enabled that's obviously their choice but what i would recommend is perhaps sending a friendly message to them on the page not an alert dialog because that's really annoying and this will just run for every page that they access if this is a global JavaScript file. But in this case, what you can do is maybe just show another element that you know has a little message for them or something like that. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and refresh here. Um, we'll go ahead and disable ad block first, and there we go. The user isn't running ad block. Well, I am running ad block, but it's uh, disabled, uh, and therefore this alert dialog isn't coming up. So now if I go ahead and enable it and refresh, it says you're running ad block right. So there we go. We've detected successfully whether the user is running ad block or not for our page. And as I said, don't you know pull up an alert dialog. Use this responsibly and go ahead and maybe um, you know include some kind of part of your site that you uh, politely notify them that you know it would be nice if they removed ad blocks so you could earn some advert revenue if you work hard on your website so there we go um, that's how to uh, detect um, the presence of ad block using three lines of jQuery or JavaScript